deciding what products to use in David Freiberger's 1970 Dodge Super B, we had to figure out which products were correct for a 675 horsepower street strip application. And we decided to use a 373 ring and pinion. We decided to upgrade to the strange cast aluminum cover, our forged chrome molly pinion yoke, and the new strange engineering S-Track differential. And every complete strange engineering rear end comes with three quarts of Lucas synthetic oil. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the new Strange S-Track Differential. The S-Track Differential case and internals are all made of a case-hardened 8620 material. Uses helical cut gears. There are no clutches or springs to go bad or cones. You do not need to add any friction modifier to it. The helical gears operate like an open differential under normal driving conditions, but as soon as you need that posi track when the power is applied, the gears wedge themselves together and act as a posi. When Strange Engineering decided to redesign our S60 housing, we opted to go with a premium nodular iron casting, nodular iron caps, and one of the features of our S60 housing is it now has an adjuster nut so you can avoid using those shims of banging the posi in and out to set your backlash. We also carry a variety of spring perches to cover different bolt-in applications such as Mopars, GMs, and late model GM applications. In order to make sure our 1970 Super B stays in one piece, Strange Engineering opted to supply this car with our 35 spline S-series induction hardened alloy axles. It's made of a 1550 modified steel that's induction hardened for both street and strip use. Now that we've decided on our components for David Freiberger's Super B, we're gonna bring in John from Strange Engineering who's gonna show us how to get all of this stuff into that S60 housing.